Hey yogis, I'm Caitlin Turner, but most of you might know me as Gypsat Goddess. And today we're all showing up for day four of Alo Yoga's seven days of arm balancing poses. Today we're gonna tackle Kundinyasana one, which can be a little tricky. So just try your best and know that whatever you do today is perfect. And if it doesn't feel perfect, that's okay too. There's always tomorrow. So we're gonna start by warming up, getting prepared, with some gentle twists. So we're gonna start with a simple seated twist. Just kick both feet out in front of you. Walk your hips back so that you can feel both sit bones firmly pressing into your mat. And you're just gonna draw your right foot in and place it on the mat in line with your left knee or maybe a little bit above it. You can keep your left leg long or maybe you bend your knee and bring it in by your hip. Today, I'm gonna keep it long. So. Reaching your right hand back. With an inhale, reach your left arm up. But as you exhale, twist your body open to the right. So you're gonna bring your left elbow outside your right knee. And with each breath, you're gonna get taller, longer, with each inhale. And with each exhale, you're gonna twist a little bit more deeply. Just check in with the alignment of your spine because we don't want any roundness and we also don't wanna be leaning back too far. You want your shoulders stacked straight over your hips. Slowly bring it back to center. We'll take that through the other side. Bend your left knee, place your left foot on the floor, the outside of your right knee or thigh. Reach your left arm back. Inhale your right arm up. As you exhale, twist your body open to the left. Breathing here. Remember using your breath to find extra space and openness here. Each inhale will make you taller. Each exhale will help you twist open even further. Using your breath to open here rather than your muscle. Never forcing it, never cranking it. Come back to center. We're gonna do one more stretch. You can either use your hands or if your foot's feeling a little bit far from your face today, grab a strap or a towel, whichever prop you need. So you're gonna lie down on your back. Kick your right leg up to the sky. And if you're using a strap, you're gonna hook it around the bottom of your foot. If you're not, then just reach your right arm out to the right. Catch your right foot with your left hand and slowly draw your straight leg over to the left. Really focusing on keeping both hips down on your mat. You'll feel a nice stretch here all through your IT band and the back and side of your right leg. Bring it back to center, and we'll just switch legs. So kick your left leg up to the sky, reach your left arm out, catch the outside of your left leg with your right hand, and begin to draw it over to the right hand side. Being mindful that you're keeping both hips down on your mat. No need to force it here. This is, as I'm sure you're experiencing, a pretty deep stretch, even without very much pressure. Slowly let that go. Hug both knees into your chest and roll to the side to get up or rock up and down on your spine, whichever you prefer. And now we'll move into Kundinyasana one. So I'm gonna teach you two different ways to get into it today. And you can just do the one that works the best for you. The way that I originally learned, which I find to be a little bit easier, is to start from a nice little squat up on your tiptoes, your hips are sitting down on your heels, your feet are together. You're gonna twist your body over to the right side. We'll start there. So you're gonna push your elbow into the meaty part of your right hip. You can feel it, it'll be nice and soft. <laughs> and then your left elbow is not gonna be at your right knee. You want it a little bit above, like find a nice meaty part of your leg there so that it's not pulling or pushing too hard. And we'll just start here. If this feels like a lot, even just being twisted here, then just stay here and work from this place and hold this pose and breathe into it. If you're ready for the next step, then we're just gonna test, just like we've done all the other days here. Before we fly, we test our wings. So you're gonna start shifting your weight forward and just see how that feels. If it's feeling all right, then you're gonna shift your weight even more forward until you're able to lift your feet off of your mat. 
So you can either stay here with bent knees, or maybe you straighten both legs. Remember, it's about the intention. <laughs> and mine are not going straight today. Or maybe you reach your top leg back for the full expression. But check in with your shoulders here. A lot of times we see the head really close to the mat here. And what we're going for is that same chaturanga 90 degree angle through both of our shoulders and elbows. Slowly bring it back in. And we'll take it through the other side. <laughs> so on the left side, you're going to find the meaty part of your leg with your right elbow, the meaty part of your hip with your left elbow. And remember, each side might feel a little bit different than the first one. And that's OK. Just roll with it. That's how our bodies are. So do a little test. Make sure it feels OK to lift our feet up. Feels good. So. When you're ready, shift your weight into your hands and find your expression, whether it's knees bent, straight, or reaching one back. And just breathe here. And slowly release. So that is entry number one. And I honestly prefer that one so much more to this other one, because I think it really gives you a little bit more time and stability to find your perfect alignment before you move into it. But sometimes <laughs> it's hard to find yourself in this position during a vinyasa flow class. So the other way that we'll try it is coming from downward dog. From downward dog, with an inhale, you're going to kick your right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, you're going to squeeze your right knee into your left tricep. Can you guess where we're going? From there, you'll find your chaturanga arms, shift forward until you can reach your kundinyasana one. I don't know if you noticed there, but since you've seen both variations, my form was a lot steadier and a lot sounder in the first entry. So I would caution you here to, until you're really familiar with this pose, always try that first entry that I showed. Be safe rather than be sorry. And when you're ready, Maybe you enter it from downward dog, or maybe you never do. It actually doesn't matter. What matters is that you're trying. So thank you for tuning in today. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow for day five. Namaste.